Hi, my name is Ted Winslow, and the track that you're listening to is called Chakra Balancing. It was recorded at 432 hertz. This is a song which was recorded for my album, Harmonia, Solfeggia Sound Healing from Divine Frequencies. What's following this was an experiment I used by using an electrophotonic or an EPC analysis device, which was invented by Russia's Dr. Konstantin Karatkov. This technology is based on gas discharge visualization. It was conducted on April 14th of 2014. The subject that I used for this experiment was a 44-year-old male. I started off our experiment by having our 44-year-old male subject put one finger at a time inside of the GDV device. What this was going to do is it was going to record an electrophotonic image of each finger that he did and record it into data inside of a software program that I was using. I started this experiment roughly at 1117. After the subject recorded each finger onto the GDV device, I then took a glass of water and I put it next to my stereo speakers and played a song called Love and Passion. And this song in particular was recorded at 528 hertz. This song can be found on my Solfeggio Sound Healing from Earthly Frequencies album. What my intent was on this is after studying the effects of water, thanks to Dr. Emoto and Dr. Horowitz, that vibrations and frequencies have a profound effect on water and I thought I would play around with this at the 528 hertz. I then had our subject drink the water and get into a comfortable position as I started to play the chakra balancing track. And this is the track of which you're currently listening to right now. Previously noting, I'm looking at some of the figures from the GDV that I ran on him back at 11.17 a.m. His throat chakras were completely out of balance. Being a vocalist, I know that singing vowels is a good strong tendency to bring my throat chakra back into the center where it's supposed to be. So I played the chakra balancing track a second time for him and had him sing the vowels along with this to bring that back and give himself even a better toning and a better healing with the chakra balancing. Now this track in particular that I recorded is using a Taurus-like energy meaning that you can hear the beginning and the end of it, but it has no structure or form, so to speak, other than the changes as it goes through. And each track is played at the notes A through G at different intervals, which are what our chakras are used. After I finished this, I then had our subject come back in and record his electro or biophotonic analysis with the GDV machine back on his fingers again. And the following are the results that we were able to show just by listening to the chakra balancing. So what you're seeing in this diagram is going to be stress, energy, and balance. And again, this was the base off of our subject. You'll note that his stress level was at 2.38. The energy level is going to be at a 50.06. And his balance is going to be at a 95.06. Now, I'm going to show you the next slide. And what I want you to pay attention to is how the blue line is going to be moving forward on these. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to notice is that his stress went up to a 2.58. Originally, it was at a 2.38. And our subject was explaining that they started feeling some tightness come up. Some things started coming up, of which they started doing their ujjaya or yoga breathing, and they were releasing some of this. So this is what I believe was causing part of the stress. The next line you notice for the energy, that's now 54.16. Originally, it was a 50.06. So now our subject is also increased in energy after listening to the chakra balancing. And then lastly, the balance went up to the 96.78. Originally, they were at a 95.60. So this next diagram is going to be able to show you the energy of our subject. Right now you're currently looking at his before. And then I'll show you the after, so which would be after he had drank a glass of water and after he listened to the two tracks of going through for the chakra balancing. So in, in case you can't see this wheel, and I'm not going to go into it for saving time on this video, but what you're looking at is areas that are going to be of the thorax, his cervical, liver, his kidney, his immune system, abdominal zone, his spleen, his uh, cerebral cortex. Um, heart and so this is all the energy areas that are in there that are where he was before again and now I'm going to show you after and I want to go back and show you again so you can see the red line change back and forth so here's before listening to the the track and after listening to the track
before and after. What we're looking at here is going to be the energy field. I want you to notice that the gaps inside of this energy field just outside the blue area, in particular in the middle image and on the right hand image. The next image I'm going to show you is going to be after listening to the track. You'll notice that the aura or this energy field fills all back in. So here we are filled back in now. Now go back to the original one. This was before the track. It's got the holes in it. And then after you can notice that it filled right back in. On these next images we're going to be showing you are the chakras. You'll notice that there's a gray area in the middle and that's pretty much going to be where you're going to be in balance where you want to have your chakras in there. And you can see the throat chakra that I mentioned earlier is way out to our right hand side as we look at this guy in particular. I want you to note too that also the size of the spheres that are on his chakras before we go to the next image. Because as we go to the next image, you'll notice that they increase in size. So here they are increased and notice that they also, the throat chakra is right there on the center. And all of them are now pretty much into the balanced area, so to speak. Some of them did drift a little bit out, if you'll recall. He was, he was telling me that he was feeling um, some stuff start to come up and he was trying to breathe back through it. So again, we're going to show you the before with the chakras. Notice how far out that blue one is and how small they are as to after. Before and after. In conclusion, and based on the experiment through the use of sound healing, and in this particular case, the track chakra balancing at 432 hertz, I've shown the effects of bringing the body to a more centered state. The final outcome of this experiment shows us that the powerful intention and the well-placed frequencies and healing can in fact improve our overall health and wellness. Keep in mind, this experiment was done in a matter of less than one hour's time. So imagine if we had these sound healing tones and frequencies all around us throughout our day. In closing, I'd also like to thank my friend, Dr. Konstantin Karatkov. Professor Kotkov is a leading scientist internationally renowned for his pioneering research on the human energy field. He's developed the gas discharge visualization technique, also known as the electrophotonic analysis, which permits us to view human energy fields, facilitating the diagnosis of our body imbalances and dysfunctions. He has published numerous books and countless articles throughout his many years of research on his findings.